baby, go! What are you doing? You are just so cute! Come here! Come here! Get up here! Come here! Come here! Good job! Good job! So, um, it is, I know it's the 29th, but I kind of want to do a video. Um, I may put it out tomorrow, so if you're seeing this, it's not the 29th, it's the 30th. Um, because I was talking with Bree today, and I was talking about, um, just a bunch of different things, and what we had talked about prompted a video, um, from me, essentially, because um, we've heard of successful breastfeeding stories and or, you know, Brie was super successful until recently due to issues, and I still think she's a success story no matter what. Um, but I want to talk about the not-so-successful breastfeeding stories, um, women like me and tons of other women who weren't able to breastfeed for whatever reason they have. Um, there's tons of reasons out there. So I want to go over my breastfeeding experience and my breastfeeding story um, quickly with you uh, and maybe give some other moms... Um, who had struggles or who couldn't do it. Um, the hope that you are doing what is best no matter what. And I don't judge moms. I love moms who breastfeed. I am envious of moms who breastfeed. I have no judgments whatsoever. I just want to put that out there because my best friend is a mom who breastfeeds. I'm keeping an eye on my daughter. I apologize. But, um, so... I had my daughter at 35 weeks, as most of my viewers know um, of not. I had my daughter at 35 weeks. She was premature. She had to be resuscitated, and so I did not get the golden hour with her. She did not get skin to skin. She did not get to be on me, but... 45 seconds after she was born because they had to take her and resuscitate her. They had to stick a tube down her throat and fill up her lungs because she couldn't do it herself. Um, so she spent the two hour golden window in the NICU. And after that, she was able to come back and be with me where I promptly and almost instantaneously, um, wanted to do skin to skin. So I attempted to do skin to skin. By this time she was hungry and they were trying to help me get her to latch. And they said because she was early that she may have issues latching and she did. So they're like, oh, well, well right now it's late because it was well after midnight. Um, we're going to give her a supplement for now and we'll have a lactation specialist come in in the AM because they said I would most likely need a nipple shield. And I was like, okay, you know, I, whatever works, I just don't want her to be starving. So we supplemented her a bottle and I, they gave me a pump and I, uh, I didn't pump the first night. I was tired, so I didn't really do anything. And, um, the next day the lactation specialist came in, she, uh, gave me a nipple shield she helped me get her, um, get it on, and then she was helping me kind of coax her. They do this thing where basically they drag, you drag your nipple across baby's nose to try and get them to open their mouth, and, um, she didn't quite have the reaction, and, um, a few tries we got her to open her mouth, and I would put her on my breast, and, uh, she wouldn't suck um essentially she didn't really know sucking I guess or her suck wasn't powerful enough so I was pumping trying to pump at the hospital um I will admit at the hospital I didn't really pump as well as I should have but when I was attempting to pump I had hospital grade pump and I was getting um drops of colostrum maybe from each each breast maybe not even an ounce just barely the minimum and I didn't feel engorged I didn't feel anything um 
And so they're like, okay, well, we're going to have to supplement her. So I was like, okay, well, we'll supplement her. And, you know, they, they sent us home Friday overnight and um, I kept trying to pump. I kept trying to pump and I never had any engorgement, anything like that. Um, Saturday we went and we got her and we brought her home. They gave us supplements uh, to bring home for her until we could get um, formula. And my husband went out and got me a pump. Well, I went all day um, trying to pump and nothing. And um, like spontaneously at maybe 10 o'clock at night, I had put Brooke to bed. And all of a sudden, my boobs were as hard as rocks. They were just miserable, terrible. I was in so much pain. I ended up calling the hospital, the labor and delivery. And they're like, oh, did you call the, the lactation line? Because they give you a lactation line. I'm like, yeah, it was it." was off and so they suggested trying to hand express or pump and I tried for over an hour and I had to take some like a medication like a a pain reliever I took some Tylenol and I went to bed and I woke up the next morning and I was drenched like my shirt was drenched I was drenched so I was definitely leaking but at this time, um, I'm trying to pump, I'm trying to pump, and I'm still getting, I'm not even getting an ounce. I'm not even getting an ounce from either one. And I'm getting to get frustrated, and I'm getting to get upset with myself. And, um, and I keep trying to pump, I keep trying to pump, I keep trying to put her on um, with the nipple shield, and she just doesn't latch. She just will not latch. She'll open her mouth and do everything, she just doesn't latch. And um, I would leak. And I would leak. I'd have to put pads in. Uh, I tried pumping. And the most I ever got was a total of three ounces. And I, of course, fed it to her. And I kept supplementing. And after, what was it? Maybe five days after I gave birth, everything was gone. Literally. I did not have a drop of milk left in my body. I pumped and I pumped and I pumped until I was raw. I never had a letdown or anything. I just went from zero to 60 all in five days. And I kept pumping for about six weeks. And after six weeks of nothing, I decided that it wasn't worth the the harm it was causing to me because I um, had anxiety over it. I was feeling like a worthless mother. I wasn't able to do this for my daughter. My husband was upset because I was upset and and I felt like I wasn't trying hard enough and I was trying so much to do so much for her and it just wasn't successful. So I said, I just have to stop and I maybe will get lucky on the next one or anything like that. So I stopped and then about four months I tried to do relactation Relactation is where you try to get yourself to produce milk again or for the first time it can be done. And I tried um, increasing my water, increasing, you know, things to get your breasts. And I tried pumping and even attaching her and she could suck by this time. Um, But again, I never was successful at relactation. Uh, And she's been formula fed since, you know, day one essentially um day one through five was a mixture of what i could get access to and formula so that was that but you know i hated myself for a long time because i could not breastfeed and it was the one thing i wanted to do for her it was the one thing i thought was going to be so easy i was like hey i'm gonna get this down i'm gonna get everything and you know, nothing went the way I wanted it to. So, um, moms who are struggling, moms who weren't able to for underactive letdown, overactive letdown, no letdown whatsoever, just remember that it's okay. And don't beat yourself up about it because uh, you tried. And I tried. And, you know, I envy the moms, like my best friend, Bree, who has an amazing breastfeeding journey but you know what everybody is somebody whether they be you know god or not god or whoever you know you know what i'm trying to say because i'm ranting now but i just wanted to give some mommies that are struggling some hope in knowing that 
Not everyone is successful, even when they try their damnedest. Could I have done differently? Maybe. Will I try again? Bet your damn pants I will. But, so, yeah, that's my journey with breastfeeding. And so, I will leave you to it. Sorry it's a long video. It was something I really wanted to speak about. But we'll leave you with Brooke. We'll see you later. Bye.